What's up, Buck Doug with Dean in the Garage? Here's what happened. I let Uncle Jerry, after asking me for months, I let him do some editing on a video. It was the U-Pull video where we went with Project Dan into the yard. We were jimmy jamming on all types of mean, nasty, ugly things. And I'll be dipped if Uncle Jerry, as Uncle Jerry being a monkey with a toolbox does, didn't forget to put some content in that video. The other day, I'm looking around, I find the content, I rewatch it, I say, hey, people deserve to see this. It was some content on pulling spare throttle body sensors, uh, specifically for a four liter, but I mean, all vehicles with throttle body sensors, you know, when those things go bad, make you think your trans walked off or something else. So pulling spare throttle body sensors, great idea. We did it out in the yard. Me, Eric, Project Dan, had a little bit of fun doing it, introduced the world to orange Loctite. I want to show you that video now. So what I suggest, grab yourself a beer, crack that bad boy open, right? And uh, cheers, enjoy. Alrighty, lots of you have been asking me for spare WJ sensors to the point where I'm depleting my resources. Oh, I'm gonna pull some more. And if anybody needs spare throttle body sensors, well, hit a brother up. I'd be more than happy to help. Except if it's me, should shift foot and prop. It's in my way. Yeah, please don't drop a 50 pound hood on my head. <laughs> mm, don't do that. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> uh, Jimmy Jam this guy off. Alright. In case y'all were wondering how to get to your throttle body, like this. You got a bolt on this side. Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> it's a 10 millimeter. It's a 10 millimeter. It wouldn't Illustrated. be no. an Uncle Jerry production. <laughs> Stop pointing with the antenna. It's not amateur hour yet. <laughs> oh, it's been amateur hour, but I got news for you. Shh, they don't know that. <laughs> they do, though. <laughs> yeah. That's why they keep coming back. In my head, they don't. Well, and now I've totally Jimmy jammed this whole thing, so I can't even get a wrench in there. We're going in. All right, fun, fun. Oh, if this hood falls, just leave me. <laughs> it's taken all three of us at once, so we're all left. <laughs> just leave me. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 I'll keep going. We'll come back for you. Hey, Dan. Yo. Can you give me a 3 8 drive 10 that's short? 3 8 drive 10. Blah, 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 blah. It's gonna be in the bottom, I think. Three eighths drive, ten mil. Ten mil. Should be in the bottom, like the bottom half of the middle. That's gonna be quarter oh, inch. That's quarter inch. I'm stupid. You're good. Do you want to just take the kit oh, on my chest? Duh. Nah. Okay. That's Thanks, exactly buddy. where you said it would be. There you go. Oh. Appreciate it. Anytime. Mm -hmm. Oh my What's god, you gotta be kidding me. This is such an amateur hour. Say it again? At least you fit up there. Yeah, I was real popular when I was in diesel mechanic school because I could get in the engine bay with the motors. <laughs> Whereas all the big corn fed guys had their bellies hanging over the edge. What are you saying there, Buck? <laughs> Nothing, but Hey, if it wasn't for your gravity, we never would have got that 5-2 pulled out of that motor the other day. It's all muscle. It's all muscle, bud. I know that's true. <laughs> all right, so that's how you get to your throttle body. All right, with all the monkeying around, you're now able to disconnect your sensors, use a T25 Torx to disconnect them from the actual throttle body, potentially. Fornicate <laughs> <laughs> uh, you. Cut the wires, just cut the wires. No. <laughs> What do we preach, Eric? Uh, leave the yard better than you found it. Because the next guy might need this harness. This is the cousin to the Nebraska Nut Rounder, the Susie Slipjaw. Take Susie Slipjaw, disconnect your throttle linkage for easy access. Well, this was supposed to take five minutes. Never does. <laughs> hey, honey, I'll be home for dinner. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, with Susie Slipjaw, you can knuckle bust those bad boys right off of there without damaging, oh, too much. Let's be honest, it's a 20-year-old Jeep, something's gonna be broken. All right. Now, we have the total Butty. Don't need that. Take your T25 and all these pop right off. 
Now, nope, not T25, T20. Amateur. I was waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> the only one thing I'm supposed to be good at on this planet is <laughs> four liter Jeeps. Yeah, you've pulled like probably a hundred of these at this point. <laughs> right? I actually have a socket with the T20 just welded right in there. Now, you know these guys are factory because they have some kind of crazy orange Loctite on them. But props are not stripping it out. <laughs> is that just rust? I that's rust. <laughs> It's orange Loctite, also known as Rust. Actually, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's quite accurate. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. That's you think the Loctite. You think red and blue are bad. Wait till you get to the orange. All right, so idle air. There's really not much that goes wrong on them. Just clean them. You just clean them. This one's going to be all full of carbon, I guarantee it. It's not too bad. But I would uh, brake clean that, send her on down the road. If anybody needs one, let me know. And the next two he pulls, there's literally nothing you can do to them. No, these are just electronics. <laughs> Somebody asked me the other day, like, how to fix their TPS, and I was like, don't, just buy a new one. He's like, it's not in the budget. I was like, I don't know what to tell you, but, like, you don't fix them. <laughs> and if you can't get one of those, then you shouldn't be driving, because that's basically a tank of gas. Pretty much. On an old 5-liter, <laughs> you actually have to adjust them. Yeah. Mm, they have yeah. the slits in them. I hated so, that. <laughs> so this right here is if you went through a big old puddle, and now you're shifting funny, you didn't get water in your trans. You got water up on top of your uh, throttle positioning sensor, this little bugger right here, and it shorted out. They're crazy temperamental on all vehicles, but especially on four liters. I actually keep a set of, uh, one of each of these in my glove box in my four liter, because so I can't tell you how many times I've gone through a big puddle, transmission doesn't shift. Every single time, get out. Sometimes you can just get the water out of the connection, but most times they short out. Oh man, this one is, this is it's really loctited in there. They also happen to four seven liters. Been there, done that. <laughs> yeah, I've not, I've not had that issue on a four seven, but it's true. Just in general, in all vehicles, uh, I've had. Finicky Chrysler computers. That's true. <laughs> That's true. All right, that's the guy. It slips right over this little doohickey, and then you jimmy jam. When you put a new one on, make sure you can still open your throttle plate. Now, this guy really needed. He's yeah. losing horsepowers there. Cleanings. All right, I'm gonna pull one more and then I promise we can move on. Dan has a much more worthy project to be working on. No, 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 that's all worthy. Well, you don't need to watch all this. That's pretty much it. Okay. If you need any sensors or other Jeep parts, hit up your friendly local D&E &E in the garage guy. He, his wife would be very thankful for you to buy something off his shelf of shame. <laughs> it's a great video about it's never shelf of shame. I think I saw it on TV there in the is garage. a wonderful <laughs> video. If you're wondering about the function and a deeper dive into throttle body sensors, I'll probably leave a kink. A kink. I'm not gonna leave a kink. That's a different channel. I'm gonna leave a link in the corner. All right. Uh, all right. It's a bass drum kicking the. <laughs> right. Amateur hour. All right. Okay. Huh? Is that all? It sort of ended abruptly. Kind of an amateur hour move for me. What are you gonna do? We're all just monkeys with toolboxes, right? So, hope you guys enjoyed that. I was serious, if you need any spare throttle body sensors for the four liter, I've been collecting them the way a squirrel collects nuts for the past decade. Uh, and I'd be more than happy to get you some uh, pretty much at price. We'll figure out the shipping thing. Uh, email me, dndoffroad at gmail.com. Additionally, you may have noticed getting a little clever with our bottle opening. Monday we released a video showing all the ways that a monkey with a toolbox can open a bottle of suds. <laughs> Additionally, that video, we launched our new line of DE koozies. If you're interested in those, check out the link to our Etsy store. We'll get some of these sent out to you. We sent out the first batch today. We make these in-house, by the way. We make them right there in the back room of the house, the wife and Eric and I. Sent out the first batch of them. One of them went to France. Two of them went to France, actually. So shout out to James and his dad who have a ZJ out there in France. I thought that was pretty wild, man. Day one, we're sending them out there to France. Anyway, just comment down there in the squawk boxes. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time. I gotta be honest, I'm, I'm impressed with that one. The way it came, she's still in there. Something to tell the boys about at work.